and our 2023 Belton High School commencement ceremony. Before we proceed with tonight's ceremony, please take a moment and recognize the location of the exit from this facility area. In case of an emergency, there will be a verbal announcement or an alarm, which signals the need for an orderly exit from this location. If this should happen, please proceed as directed to the nearest exit. We thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for choosing to spend this evening with us. Your presence reflects what we have experienced throughout our lives. Your love, support, and guidance are steadfast and unmovable. Although we may not have always expressed our appreciation as well as we should or could, we thank you. As we recognize the significant role you play in our lives, we do understand the honor of walking across this stage and our being prepared for the next chapter of our lives has been made possible in large part due to your sacrifice and love. Your example and lessons have taught us how to be remarkable individuals and we are a reflection of you in many ways. Your influence has helped produce a new generation of dreamers and world changers. We also extend our thanks to our teachers and administrators for fostering our intellectual and emotional growth, empowering us to dream bigger, emphasizing relationships and teamwork, and inspiring our confidence to confront their challenges ahead. We are forever grateful for your commitment and efforts to help us achieve our goals. Finally, I would like to thank our peers, the Belton High School class of 2023, for pushing one another to perform better and to be better. Throughout our journey together, we have been there to comfort and confide in one another. We have created bonds that will last a lifetime. As a result of these special bonds, we find ourselves gathered here. We are a blend of different races, religions, and creeds joined together to honor the fantastic graduates and recognize our ties with one another. We are a microcosm of how the world should be and between us is a feeling much more profound than any differential obligation. It is love. We are Belton. In closing, I have one small request on behalf of the 2023 senior class officers. Each graduate has gone through a great deal to hear their name called when they received their diploma. I would appreciate it if each of you, our guests, and our audience for this event would refrain from the kinds of things that would prevent the graduate and their respective family members from hearing their names called. Additionally, out of respect for those who are seated immediately around you, please consider shutting off or placing your devices on silent mode for the next hour. It is time for our student marshals, next year's student council president, Ms. Piper Keltner, and senior class president, Ms. Lexi Chastain, to move into position and prepare for the commencement 2023 processional. Mr. Ogle and the members of the Belton High School Band, through music, please let our graduates know it is time for commencement 2023 to begin.
At this time, I ask all members of the class of 2023 to please stand for the staff processional. Class of 2023, you may be seated. As Caden takes his seat, we draw attention to our 2023 class and Stuco officers. Please stand when I call your name. Joseph Huerta Placencia, Amelia Morris, Isabella Evans, Caleb Richardson, Malaysia Bell, and Brennan Zumwalt. Thank you for what you have contributed to the experiences we have shared as a school community. Good evening, my name is Scott Sizemore and I'm the Director of Academies for the Belton School District. At this time, I ask Isabella Evans and Brandon Strabner to join us on stage. Is Isabella will perform the National Anthem. She will be followed by Eagle Scout Brandon Strabner, who will lead us in the recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance. As Isabella makes her way to the podium, I ask everyone who is able to please rise and remain standing until after the recitation of the pledge. A verbal invitation for everyone to be seated will follow. Consistent with flag etiquette, gentlemen, please remove your hats. Here to perform our national anthem, Isabella Evans. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rampart 
hearts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled At this time, please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Joining me on stage are Chris Patrick and Joseph Jewett. Chris has chosen to enter the U.S. Navy. His father served four years as a U.S. Marine along with his uncle. His grandfather served four years in the U.S. Air Force. Today, Chris has not received his orders at this point. Joseph has chosen to enter the National Guard. His father, his father served 15 years in the United States Army. I am honored as a representative of Belton High School to have the opportunity to extend an invitation. An invitation to those in the audience who either currently serve or have previously served as a member of the United States Armed Forces. Please stand so that you may be recognized. We thank you. At this time, we call upon our graduates who have also decided to join these ranks. We wish to honor you as well. Those who have enlisted in the military, please stand. We thank you for choosing this path, and we offer you best wishes. Please be seated. Thank you, Chris and Joseph. Shortly, we will ask all present to join in a moment of silence, a moment to reflect on what too quickly becomes yesterday's news. Among those serving overseas are men and women with family and friends seated in this audience. We think about them as well as recognize all those who have lost their lives while serving our great nation. We also take time to remember those family members and friends we hold dear whose lives have been cut short due to a battle with illness or some other unforeseen event. Among those are former students who, we, were they still here today, would be here to receive their diplomas and turn their tassels with the class of 2023. Our graduates and staff wear a small ribbon in remembrance of their classmates. Finally, we recognize the global swell given to the demands for social justice. We acknowledge this may not be new, but the breadth and depth have inspired many from this generation to go beyond simply looking at what, can be, what could and should be accomplished and who have actually taken action. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a moment of silence. Thank you. At this time, senior band members, we invite you to join Mr. Daniel Ogle and Mr. Dylan Noble 
and the remainder of your Belton High School band. At this time, to present his message to the class of 2023, please join me in welcoming the principal of Belton High School, Mr. Torrance Allen. Thank you, Scott. To the members of board, Superintendent Dr. Underwood, cabinet members, parents, guardians, family, friends, and graduates. Today we celebrate 129th uh, Belton High School commencement ceremony for the class of 2023. Today's commencement ceremony completes your school journey. As you celebrate your graduation, I want you to take a moment to reflect on this great accomplishment. Each of you have displayed this month's pirate principle of courage. Maya Angelou once said, one isn't necessarily born with courage, but one is born with potential. Without courage, we cannot practice any other virtue with consistency. We can't be kind, we can't be true, merciful, generous, or honest. As you start the next chapter of your life, I challenge you to always have courage to practice these virtues. Have the courage to accomplish your dreams, even when it seems impossible. Have the courage to be great in this world. Have the courage to act instead of react. Have the courage to forgive. Have the courage to be you. And finally, have the courage to live life to the fullest. Class of 2023, I want to remind you of what Michael Josephson once said. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you will go. But don't forget the journey. Finally, I want to thank the class of 2023 for cautiously embracing me as the new principal. Change is never easy, and I know you spent three great years with Principal Clark, who is here visiting you today. Principal Clark, give him a hand and clap. I don't know where he's at in the building, but he is present. Principal Clark, thank you for sharing this wonderful group of uh, seniors with me. I am for grateful, forever grateful to be a part of this journey. I also want to thank the dedicated staff of Belton High School for your tireless effort in carrying out our vision to inspire, empower, and engage our students every day. To the family members and friends of this great graduate class, I would like to join in our student leaders and say thank you. Your hard work has paid off as well and congratulations to the class of 2023. At this time, we wish to recognize and thank the dignitaries who are here to celebrate the class of 2023. We are honored and know quite well the energy and service they bring to their respective roles. But before we introduce them, I invite uh, you to join me in a demonstration of our appreciation for our leadership of our superintendent, Dr. Andy Underwood. I want to welcome everyone here this evening. Uh, thank you for being here, teachers. Uh, thank you. Uh, job well done for a great uh, graduating class. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to introduce our Board of Education and thank them for their time and effort. Um, our board president, also our Missouri uh, Kansas City Region Board of Director, President Jerry Miller. Our Vice President, Ms. Karen Fletcher. Board member, Ms. Teresa Cervantes. Also a parent tonight of a couple graduates, so. Also, Mr. Dave Daniels, board member. Mr. Jim Armilio. And Ms. Mary Cummings. Mary, you probably taught a few of these kids as well. 
one or two. Also, my team I'd like to recognize real quick. Uh, without their tireless effort and commitment, we would also not be here, and I, I appreciate everything that they do. Dr. Sarah Jones oversees our student services. She's our assistant superintendent. <laughs> Dr. Bob Poisel oversees our finance and support services assistant superintendent role. And Dr. Kimberly Mark, Mock, excuse me, is over our school improvement. She is the assistant superintendent in that area. I also want to point out that we celebrated this last year our sesquicentennial in Belton, 150 years. And one of the most proud moments that we had over this past summer was our band made it to Washington, D.C. and performed uh, at a great event. And I want to thank Mr. Ogle and Mr. Noble for helping to lead that. So thank you guys, and you guys I'm sure will do a wonderful job tonight. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Belton High School Band under the direction of Mr. Daniel Ogle. The band will perform the piece chosen by the senior members. Their selection is entitled Origin by Kate Nishmura. Thank you, Mr. Ogle, Mr. Noble, for all you do. Well done, Belton High School Band. Senior band members, you can return to your seats. At this time, Mr. Joseph Warta Placencia, Senior Class President, please approach the stage. While Joseph is making his way to the stage, we offer the recognition of those who've earned attendance honors. It is essential to mention that COVID has had an impact here. We all understand the numbers of those to be honored would be far greater were it not for the challenge of COVID. It goes without saying quarantines as a result of close contact or absences due to COVID illness were significant over our seniors course of their four years. Nonetheless, we are able to celebrate 53 students who have, had, who have attended Belton High School for at least one full year and have maintained a 98% or greater attendance rate 
throughout their BHS experience. These students received their attendance medallions earlier this week. For those who have achieved this honor, please stand. Congratulations to each of you. You may be seated. Now, we'll take a moment to acknowledge those students who, aside from missing time as a result of school-related activities, had perfect attendance during their senior year. They are Susan Comstock, Erilyn Long, and Preston Dale Pointer. We'd ask the three of you please stand in order to be recognized Congratulations, you may be seated. In addition to perfect attendance as these seniors, these three have been building high school students for their entire high school career. Congratulations. It is customary in commencement ceremonies across the country for graduates as well as the larger audience to receive a message from the class president. Please join me in welcoming to the stage our senior class president, Joseph Huerta Placencia, for the class address. A quick thank you to Kaden Petzold for being flexible and allowing me to do this. I'd like to begin by thanking those who made me who I am today. First, I'd like to thank my family for always supporting me and supporting me through everything I've been through. I am forever indebted for the sacrifices you've made for me for it has put me in the position I am in today. Next, I'd like to thank my friends for giving me something to look forward to in class and supporting me in the decisions I made. I want to be class president without your hard work and determination. Finally, I would like to thank my teachers for believing in my abilities when I did not believe in myself and pushing me to be a better person and a better student. You guys don't receive the praise you deserve, but I'd like to let you know that you've made a tremendous impact on my life and the lives of many others, including those of us receiving our diplomas tonight. Well, graduates, we made it. As a group, we started from the bottom, and now it looks like the whole team is here. I stand here before you, looking back on four years of legacy we've all made together. I could go on and on talking about all the accomplishments each of you has achieved in the past four years, but I'll keep this brief. You can thank me later. These past four years have been nothing short of spontaneous. I mean, freshman year, we thought we were getting an extended spring break, but then we didn't even get to see each other until the beginning of our sophomore year. And that was only those of us who chose to learn in person rather than virtually. Those of us who live to tell the tale remember that a safety measure was put in place where you got quarantined if you were within six feet of someone who tested positive for COVID. Surprisingly, we didn't try to overthrow the people in charge of protocols that year. Junior year, we had kids on their worst behavior, stealing sinks, soap dispensers, mirrors, and literally anything else they could possibly find. And this year, we finally got a taste of what a normal school year might look like. I mean, what does normal really even mean? I feel as if we're motivated by society to think that the normal thing to do after high school is to go to college, but that's not necessarily the case. Some of us, I would go as far as to say most of us, are unsure what we would like to do with our future. So a better way to taking a break from college and revisiting that road once we are ready. If you know college is not meant for you, perfect. Join the workforce and follow your dreams there, whether that's with the military, traveling, or becoming a SoundCloud rapper. As one of the great lyrical philosophers of a time once said, everybody dies, but not everybody lives. Choose to do what makes you happy. It is your life and not anybody else's. Regardless of what you have planned for yourself, we must never relinquish the potential that each and every one of us has within ourselves. Between math, history, and English lessons, we are continuously learning things about the world. However, what was not taught in those lessons explicitly was to cherish every moment we found along the way that we had to learn at the school of life. As much as we became jaded by the idea of going to school at 7 or 9 in the morning each day, it has ultimately paid its dividends at this moment and hopefully in the future for all of us. Graduates, each and every one of you has the potential to change the world. As that same great wordsmith, Drake, once said, tables turn, bridges burn, you live and learn. If you have not learned in and out of the classroom the past four years, then everything will go how you plan to go, and now is the moment to realize them. Life is all about the journey, and oftentimes it is the journey that teaches you a lot about your destination. 
So, as we all go our different directions, don't forget to take care. As Joseph returns to his seat, please join me uh, in giving him another round of applause. Now I have the distinct pleasure of highlighting the academic successes of some of our graduates. The Seal of Biliteracy is an award recognizing students who have attained proficiency in English and one or more other world language and demonstrate socio-cultural competence. The seal becomes part of their high school transcript and certification of biliteracy for the community, employers, and universities. We also congratulate Ms. Maria Derner for her commitment to these students and their quest to achieve this distinction. Last year, three students made school history by being the first three students to earn the Missouri Seal of Biliteracy. Today we celebrate 14 students who have met all of the requirements. 12 have met the standard requirements and two, for the first time, have met the distinguished requirements. Within the 14, uh, there, we have three languages represented. Please stand and be recognized if you receive the Seal of Biliteracy. You may be seated. Will the following students please stand? Nicholas Huffman, Caitlin Morrison, Cole Murphy, Caleb Richardson, and Mason Walker. The state of Missouri established a scholarship called Bright Flight with designs to keep its brightest college students in state. The program has typically rewarded students who score in the top 3% on the ACT standardized test. The Missouri State average is 21.5, and the qualifying score for the program is typically a 31 out of a potential 36 on the test. This year, Belton High School proudly celebrates these five students from the class of 2023 who have achieved a 31 or better, and thus earned the designation as a Bright Flight graduate. Congratulations. Thank you, you may be seated. At this time, we will recognize students graduating with cum laude status. Cum laude simply means to graduate with honors. This practice is designed to challenge all Belton High School students to reach specific levels of achievement across several criteria, and then to recognize those who meet the respective standards. At this time, Will Ms. Kelly Vaughn and Dr. Brian Cecil join us at the front of the stage to greet those from the class whom have earned cum laude distinction. To receive them on stage representing the Board of Education are President Mr. Jerry Miller and Vice President Mrs. Karen Fletcher. The general criteria to earn this honorable distinction include having achieved a specific GPA requirement, earned a specific score on the ACT or SAT, earned a specific score on an AP exam, scored proficient on all required end of course exams, completed a college preparatory curriculum, earned a minimum of 27 credits, and participated in a minimum of either two or four extracurricular activities depending on the level of distinction. The specifics are listed in your program. To achieve this honor, students have been intentional about their course selection and have put in the work necessary to be recognized for this distinction. The class of 2023 can boast 13 graduates who have earned cum laude status. Those earning this level of distinction wear a white stole for having done so. We request each of you who have earned cum laude to please join us on stage at this time. As they approach, I will review the specifics of the cum laude distinction. To achieve cum laude status, one must have met the following criteria. A minimum cumulative 3.5 GPA, a score of at least 22 on the ACT or 900 on the SAT, 
participation in at least two extracurricular activities during their four years in high school. When your name is called, please take two steps forward to be re recognized and then return to your spot. Caitlin Wagner. <laughs> Kayla Watts. <laughs> Jacob Ross. <laughs> Jacob Hayes. <laughs> Emma Rinaldi. Audrey Childers. Mason Winsler. Michaela Kiefer. Kai Moffitt. Grace Comstock. Leilani Jones. Victoria Buckner, and Amelia Morris. Please join me in congratulating our cum laude graduates. So using the front set of stairs, please join the members of the administrative team where they will assist in arranging you for a group photo. Magna cum laude honorees are identified by wearing of a silver stole. The class of 2023 celebrates eight graduates who have earned this distinction. We request each of you who have earned magna cum laude status to please join us on the stage at this time. To the sides, please. As they approach, I will review the specifics of the magna cum laude distinction. To, to achieve magna cum laude, one must have met the aforementioned requirements and the following criteria. A minimum cumulative GPA of 3.8, a score of at least 26 on the ACT or 1190 on the SAT, a minimum score of three on at least one AP exam, participation in at least two extracurricular activities during their four years in high school. When your name is called, take two steps forward to be recognized and then return to your spot. Isabella Evans. <laughs> Catherine Grew. <laughs> Lucien Rowan. <laughs> Carly Geise. Preston Pointer. <laughs> Rain Reinhardt. <laughs> Brooklyn Tavanero. <laughs> and Neil Patel. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating our magna cum laude graduates. Please join your peers for the photo using the front stairs. The gold stole is a symbol that one has earned the highest level of distinction. The BHS class of 2023 has five graduates who have achieved summa cum laude status. We request that each of you who have earned summa cum laude to please join us on the stage at this time. As they approach, I will review the specifics of the summa cum laude distinction. To achieve summa cum laude status, one must have met the aforementioned requirements and the following criteria. A minimum cumulative 4.0 GPA, a score of at least 31 on the ACT or 1380 on the SAT, a minimum score of four on at least one AP exam, and participation in at least four extracurricular activities during their four years in high school. When your name is called, please take two steps forward to be recognized, then return to your spot. Nicholas Huffman. Yeah. 
Caitlin Morrison. Mason Walker. Cole Murphy. And Caleb Richardson. Congratulations to our summa cum laude graduates. Please join your peers for the photo. You may be seated. Four years ago, the class of 2023 entered the halls of Belton High School, not just as freshmen, but as the first class of the Academies of Belton. They would become the first Belton students to experience a new and transformational approach to the high school experience, one that focused on exploration, opportunity, student choice, community involvement, and real-world learning experiences. The Academies of Belton is truly a community effort to provide opportunity for our students. Despite a global pandemic that disrupted nearly every aspect of our lives, students in the graduating class of 2023 were able to complete 112 internships, 70 client projects, earn 614 plus hours of college credit, and 20 industry recognized credentials during their four years at BHS. In addition, 75% of graduates report that they either are or are likely to pursue a college major, trade school or apprenticeship program, military specialty or job directly related to the academy and path pathway they participated in at Belton High School. What makes these numbers truly remarkable is the level of community involvement required to make it happen. Belton is a proud Ford Next Generation learning community. One of the key tenets of the 4NGL fr framework is the idea of transitioning transforming business and civic engagement with schools. Essentially, this means bringing business, industry, and civic partners into our school to partner with us on transforming the student experience and creating opportunities that traditional high school students do not typically receive. We are so proud to partner with nearly 100 business, industry, and civic partners, big and small, who have devoted more than 3,000 hours of their time to our students and teachers over the last four years. The question I always ask students when they talk about their internship experience is, do you think we could replicate this experience in a classroom? The answer is always no, and that's the point, and the reason that we are so thankful for all of our partners. I would also be remiss if I didn't acknowledge all the incredibly hard work that your teachers and your academy principals and your academy counselors have put into putting this amazing program in place for you to benefit from. In addition, I would like to recognize my predecessor, Dr. Stacy Yorkovich, who is here, and thank her for her tireless efforts in making this a possibility tonight. So please join me in thanking your teachers, counselors, principals, and Dr. Yorkovich. With that said, graduates, although you are joining a long list of graduating classes, 129 to be exact, the class of 2023, the first graduating class from the Academies of Belton, will always hold special value as a symbol of this community's dedication to making high school more relevant, meaningful, and impactful for students and the community of Belton. Although this may be the end of your academy experience, 
It is just the beginning for us. Through the lessons that we have learned together, we will continue to transform, continue to innovate, continue to improve, and provide future classes with even more opportunities to find their passion, find their talent, and find their future. And for that, we want to thank you. Now, in recognition of our first Academies of Belton graduating class, I would like to invite Cheryl Carrier, Executive Director of Ford Next Generation Learning, to say a few words. Wow, this is a big night, right? Congratulations. Um, I can remember my commencement like it was yesterday. And let me assure you, it was not. It was a long time ago, back in 1978. Um, and never in a million years did I think that I'd be standing up here speaking you to you tonight, especially working in education. So I'm going to tell you a little story, um, because your life is about to unfold on you, and it's going to be incredible. Um, you've had, you have your whole life in front of you, right? And thanks to the Academy's Belton, your incredible teachers, the administrators, the business partners, your board, um, you've had an experience like no other. And I know that you've never been through high school before. This is your first time, right? So you don't know how different it is. But you're the first academy uh, graduating class, and you're ready to take a giant leap into your future. And the academies are certainly, has certainly made this easier for you. You may be going into employment, you may be enlisting, and thank you for your service. Um, you may be an entrepreneur. You may be going to post-secondary. But in the academies, you had the opportunity to have authentic, real-world experiences. You developed relationships with local employers. You learned how to work in teams, problem solve, uh, make informed decisions about your future develop the skills that you need to be successful in college, career, and life. One thing for sure, you're going to continue to learn your entire life if you want to have a bright, prosperous, joyful future. I stand in front of you today because I did just that. My career has taken me in directions that I could have never imagined. I have worked for Ford Motor Company or the Ford, or the Ford family nearly my entire life. And, you know, I started off, um, I always say I, I feel like I went to the University of Ford uh, because I've, I've learned so much from the company. But I started off as an administrative assistant. I kept growing in the company. They kept sending me to school. I kept taking on new jobs. I finally started to work for who is now the chairman of Ford Motor Company. They own the Detroit Lions, so I had a chance to go over and start an HR department there. I left there when I was done with that. I came back to Ford Motor Company Fund, which is the philanthropic arm of Ford. All through this, I was promoted. And I was, you know, I was just really interested in this continuous learning, you know, in continually learning. <laughs> I now work with the Ford Motor Company Fund, and with the help of my colleagues who are sitting over there, and actually they've done all the work, they've worked with your community to build the academies of Belton. So I couldn't imagine how many twists and turns my life, my career would take. And it's all because I was curious. I always ask my managers, is there something more I can do? I'd like to learn how to do this. I can do that. Why don't you let me try and do that? And did I fail at times? Yes, I did. I mean, and it was hard. It hurt. But it wasn't long. I got back up. I persevered. And there's so many lessons in my life that I'd love to share with you. So there are four. I'll try and make them quick. First, your voice and your thoughts matter. Don't ever be silenced by anybody. If you believe you have a good idea, don't give up. 
You may need to change your messaging, you may need to change your approach, but don't ever give up because you could make an incredible impact on the world. Trust your voice. Your word is your reputation. So if you give your word, follow through on it. Second, stay curious. The world is a very complex place, as you all know, and as you get older, it's going to get more complex. Your education does not stop today or after college. No matter what you do, you're going to need to stay current and push yourself. Try things that are hard. Fall down, get up, reflect on what you've learned, and keep going. My story is your story if you continue to learn. You can do anything. My career brings me such joy that it's not about going to work every day. I love what I do, and you should love what you do in your future. Third, always be willing to jump in and help on projects. You'll make friends. You'll build a reputation as a team player. You'll be the first one that people think of when a new great opportunity comes, uh, comes up. They're going to say, I know that, that young man, that young woman. They've always been there. They're going to they're gonna do a good job. And, and I also believe if you're supportive of you know, your colleagues and your customers, it'll all come back to you. It goes around, comes around. It's called karma, right? Finally, be kind. Everyone is dealing with something in life that's hard. Everybody, at some point or another. Maybe they don't have the resources that you have, or, you can't, or they can't speak for themselves, but kindness brings you joy. It fills your heart, and knowing that you were able to be there for somebody is, the, is really the best feeling in the world. So these are the things I tell my grandchildren. I hope, I hope something resonates with you in this. You're a really fortunate group of uh, graduates. I'm really proud of you for going through this. I'm incredibly proud of this community for what they've done um, to build these academies for you. And finally, to all the parents and employers out there, whether you're an entrepreneur, you have your own business, or you um, work for somebody, you have something to offer these young people. Get your employer involved. Get involved. These people back here, these people right here, are going to be very appreciative of your time and talent. So I urge you to do that. So congratulations, 2023 graduates. Go out. Use your voice, be curious lifelong learners, be supportive and kind, and you will have a fabulous life. Congratulations. Thank you, Cheryl, for participating today and fostering an excellent partnership with the Belton School District as we celebrate the first graduating class of the Academies of Belton. Members of the Senior Choir, please move into position. While they're making their way, we'll take a moment to highlight some scholarship information. The information that we have available to us reveals the overall scholarship totals for these seated before you in the amount of roughly $3.1 million. So give them a round of applause. Notably, this spring, our local partners such as the Belton Education Foundation, Belton Chambers, and the Belton Cares, just to name a few, along with the KC Scholars Program, presented BHS students with just over $470,000 in scholarship money. <laughs> Under the direction of Mr. Brian Stuck, and the, cho the choir will perform the piece chosen by the senior members. Their selection is entitled, Awaken the Music by George Gilpin.
Thank you, Mr. Stuck, for all you do. Well done, Belton High School Choir, senior choir members. Thank you as you take your seat. Dr. Underwood, members of the Belton School District Leadership Team, and to the members of the Board of Education, with incredible pride, we, the faculty the administration of Belton High School, presents to you We present to you the members of the 2023 20, Belton High School senior class. Those before you have fulfilled the requirements for graduation as approved by the Missouri Board of Education and augmented and developed by the local Board of Education, School District 124. I would be remiss if I did not thank Principal Allen for his efforts this year. So Torrance, thank you, we appreciate you. My favorite time, students, uh, one thing I will say, remember, uh, you've heard it several times, be kind. Tell your family and friends you love them. They put a lot of time and effort to make you uh, who you are and that you're here tonight and they're here to celebrate you. Parents, guardians, friends, families, and acquaintances, it is my pleasure to certify that these students before you have met the standards set forth by the Missouri Department of Education and the Belton School District number 124. Seniors, congratulations, you made it. All right, as stated earlier, we do sincerely thank you for being here to honor the members of the class of 2023. There are those who do represent the first in their family to have graduated from high school. Others have invited family members and guests from many miles away. We do request that all attending be reverent in their conduct in order that each member of the class will have their moment, their moment to have their name heard across the uh, PA system. Please do not uh, be the individual that denies any graduate's name from being heard by those who are here to hear it. Additionally, please hold your applause and celebration to after senior class president and Stuco president, Joseph and Caden lead the class of 2023 with the command to turn the tassel, followed by the singing of the alma mater. Thank you. Class of 2023, at this time, we will begin the roll call to receive your diploma. Step on up and get him. Go ahead and step up and get him. Bub stepped out there. Come on. First. Come on around first. Keep no. Come here. No wait. Take our picture first. Jacob Yoon Q. Hayes. Madeline Grace Strife. Neil Kane Alal Patel. Go to the top. 
Carly Ladona Geise. Leilani Isabel Jones. Mason Grant Walker. Kayla Grace Watts. Caleb Richardson. Cole Lee Murphy. Caitlin Nico Morrison. Mason Jonathan Winsler. Amara Crockett. Caitlin Grace Wagoner. Isabella Madison Evans. Jacob Michael Ross. Amelia Rose Morris. Connor Richard Anthony Jones. Caden Drake Petzold. Brennan Zumwalt. Joseph Huerta Palencia. Dixie Marie Brewer. Eileen Perez Carrera. Malaysia Renee Belberimon. Esmeralda Noemi Madrid Fernandez. Faith Louise Stevenson. Herson Vladimir Garay Segovia. Raquel Elizabeth Ayers. Angels David Sierra. Victoria Lynn Buckner. Jesus Daniel Dominguez Mendez. Michaela Joy Kiefer. Nicholas James Huffman. Anna Ray Marjorie Shrum. Kai Marika Moffat. Susan Grace Comstock. Lucian Rowan. Rain Christine Reinard. Catherine Sue Grube. Emma Lorraine Rinaldi. Audrey Sabrina Childers. Brooklyn Lou Tavernaro. Kanaya Yvette Lillian King. Ellison Margaret Kirkham. Joseph Barnett Jewett Jr. Preston Dale Pointer. William Christopher Duffelmeyer. Christopher Randy William Patrick. Luis Anthony Meza. 
Devin James Shaw. David Alexis Sanchez Olan. Claire Ann Irvin. Daniel Flores Villa. Elena Nicole Saunders. Aureli Charlene Magana Garcia. Avery Jameson Williams. Mariana Garza Zuniga. Avery Joe Kasky. Abril Maline Gutierrez. Now start walking. Joshua Patrick Middlestat. Yeah. <laughs> Isabel Ariola Aviles. Giovanni Rashad Mack. Yamala Azire Diaz. Gregory Mackay Lyles. Noe Oropesa. Jaden Isaiah Riddle. Charis Joe Moreno. Ethan Russell Yinger. Maylee Montiel Martinez. Dante Philip Miller. Brady Addison Wallen. Cardidro Donick Freeman Jr. Jonathan De Jesus Torres. Denise Guadalupe Hinojos. Nathan William Elbs. Caden Seth Earl Freeland. Kaya Simone Potts. Madeline Irene Steelman. Xavion Alexander Gutierrez. <laughs> Madison Reagan West. Logan Matthew Goldenbaum. Leilana Darlene Velasquez. Leilana. Alexis Danielle Honaker. Caleb William Slaughter. Emily Ruth Yearout. Estrella Garcia. Angelina Raylene Reide. Takaira Michaela Lynette Shelby.
Arlette Juliette Rauda Pineda. Esmeralda Garcia Perez. Amelia K. Drydale. Angel David Flores. Dakota Michelle Link. Dylan Ulysses Lopez. Charlie Paige Shelb. Robbie Dunzel Carpenter. Emily Paige Polin. Joshua Lynn Denton. Ricardo Sarki. Logan Shane Zelk. Luca Scortaoli. Malachi Leland Nagels. Sean Michael Hennessy. Jace Banks. Joseph Ricardo Garay. Chloe Alyssa Bell. Gage Michael Davis. Haley Jane Robertson. Kelsey Michelle Guile. Michaela Ann Roselli. Jaden Lee Williamson. Cynthia Elizabeth Collier. Kirsten Jean Carter. Tyra Angeli Smith. Landon Blake Hostetler. Jeremiah Darnell Kimmel Black Oliver. <laughs> Benjamin Daniel Sharp. Brady Monroe Littleton. Joey Max Aguilar. Landon Murphy Littleton. Zachary Michael Latimer. Teresa Dawn Lopez. Kennedy Lynn Holloway. Angelica Rose Benefield. Nora Catherine Dunlap. Robert Glenn Ricketts. Noah Hunter Owen Clark. James Edward Hubbard. Martina Gotti. Teron Deshaun TK Kelly. Oyane Lopez Ferrero. David Ismael Blaze Jr.
Katrina Brika Dravinietza. Brandon Matthew Schoenberger. Eric Guevara. Sophia Dawn Mitchell. Tristan Taylor Golden. Alora Celise Davis. Madeline Elizabeth Mason. Samantha Elizabeth Lewis. Xander Ray Payton. Mary Charlotte Lewis. Michael Eugene Hickerson. Makaya Grace Eagleton. Alexander Via Lagos. Victoria Jasmine Lopez. Nestor Antonio Cora the Third Genesis Olguin Lola Dahlia Cora Melissa Ramona Velasquez Mackenzie Turner. Ava Simone Baja. Piper Lee Renee Stevenson. Danica Allison Rica. Caitlin Elizabeth Dubois. Macy Marie Salzman. Brianna Renee Joe Madden. Audrey Lynn Gardner. Peyton Kyle Edmonds. Chase Victoria Thomason. Jeffrey Allen Jones. Vanessa Rain Russell. Max William Case. Tyra Maxine Hogan. Brandon Charles Stabner. Tyler Curtis Hogan. Colin Parker McIntyre. Cooper Daniel Forsyth. Perla Molina. Mason Lee Fulton. Rebecca Lynn Wright. Yeah, Tyler Daniel Fulton. <laughs> Natalie Estrella Arianas Nelson. Lupita Maria Cervantes. Sofia Marie Cervantes.
Samantha Jo Lee Cutberth. Essence Naomi Carpenter. Paige Riley Davies. Jocelyn Ailee Davis. Thank you, Go to the X. First X. John Keaton Fleming. Ramija Genesis Warren Swearingen. Jalea Tanise Riley Morris. One more. Isaiah Kipis. Bethany Marie Stoverink. Kennedy Hayes Rowland. Dylan Thomas McKeon. Gretchen Olivia Cruz. I've got two that left their car in their seats. Bailey Jean Masteller. <laughs> yeah. Dallas Redmond Anderson. Ryan Michael Bidwell. Joel Chavez Landa. Caitlin Michelle Folk. Stop and steps. Xavier Wedgworth. Deja Dustin Elaine Derry. Austin Crab. Corin James Lozano. Joseph David Armstrong. Coleman Allen Hardy. Drake Lawrence Burby. Audrey Leanne Schmitz. Xander Lee McIntosh. Come on. Caitlin Grace Marie Crew. Frederick Vincetti Profera. Balin Michelle Brown. Kevin James Park. Micaiah Cherie Cross. Marcos Antonio Carvajal Lima. Shakira Jordan Lacey. Darian Rosina Nelson. Alexandra Faith Gillespie. Gabriella Michelle Boley. Brooklyn Michelle Bradley. Serena Allison Bays. Nina Andrea Prince. Cy Basil Seibert.
Raina Helen Morton. Aliana Nicole James. Javen Lee Mackey. Maria Anae Kindred. Veronica Marie Stifter. Nicole Rose Anderson. Kylie Michelle Davis. Robin Lenise Clark. Go, Bri. Ivan Thomas Peterson. Richard LaDrew Porter. Dorian Lee Duggins. Chance Leon Bunger. David Wayne Lee. Wamea Alika Balin. Corey Crosby. Taryn Grace Anderson. Zachary Michael Atterbury. Troy Devin Dickerson. Jack Joshua Fairchild. Luis Daniel Fuentes. Mason Sidney McDonald. Kenna Elise Brooks. Miles Douglas Walker. Lachey Lene Scott. Austin Christopher Lane. Katie Hampshire. Brittany Linnea Parker. Donovan Jeremiah Hightower. Mario Nunez and Guiano. Javion Josiah Cotton. Cole Stephen Ortman. Tyler Campbell Wasson. Asia Cheyenne Rosinski. Sean Duane Lamb. Nevea Loray Gardner. Wyatt Joseph Muir. Drew Jackson Bollinger. Kylie Ann Lockard. Thomas Michael McKinnon. Daisy Jade Parker. Braden Ethan Morris. 
Luis Rios. Presley Daniel Wincoop. Austin Hayden Steves. Montana Wincoop. Haley Stuffelbean. Aiden Martin Verheli Marbe. Carlos Gomez Ruiz. Jazreen Cule. Vivian L. Garso. Mason Eric Belshi. Caleb Brian James Hickam. Justice Dale Gitlin. Isabel Nicole Kesterson. Isabel Marie Schaefer. Oscar Jacob Morales. Lane Timothy Cross. Nicholas Owen Schroeder. Luca Owen Riley. Enrique Gonzalez Zarco. Alexandria Elizabeth Slicester. Philip Redondo Colbert. Nathan Michael Bone. Malaya Trinity Lee Patton. Ethan Lawrence Torrey. Autumn Jolie Brookard. Jason Michael Rodriguez. Jordan Renee Green. Piper Lee Holloway. Austin Bradley Smith. Lucas William Renshaw. Gabe Zavala Soltero. <laughs> Jaden John Kiesler. Seth Eugene Whartonby. Cameron Elise Sawyer. Caden James Grapes. Ryder Curtis McPherson. Kaylee Elizabeth Hart. Tegan Jean Stewart. London, Dakia Great Gates. Devasha Marie Turner.
Kom Lari, Stuko. Kom Lari, Stuko. At this time, we need all of the Kum Laude and Stuco members to join us on stage. You want left? Yep. Let him, let him get up here first, guys. Let him all get up here. Wait till everybody gets up there. Class of 2023, please rise. Graduates of Bowen High School, turn your tassel. Please join us as we sing our Belton High School, our Belton High School alma mater. The words to our alma mater are found on the inside cover of your program, as well as on the scroll of the video board behind the stage. Start it with me. Ready? High upon a hill so noble, challenging the eye. At this time, seniors, we have your senior song that we're going to play. So if you please get in your line so we can procession out, they'll play your senior song. Thank you to all of our guests. This will conclude our graduation ceremony. Here we go.